Hey YouTube, time for a fish room update. Hey YouTube, it's Brian coming at you with another fish room update. Uh, this will be the March fish room update. And what I'm showing you here is uh, the tank in my office that is now a new home to my Giardini Arowana. Had this guy for about a month. And I got him, um, uh, one of my local fish stores uh, brought him in from me, for me from the East Coast. Uh, there was a importer or wholesaler or something out there that um, he gets them from. And uh, he came in a little rough uh, as far as the fins go, just because they keep them in a, in a big holding tank with several of them and they nip at each other. But the fins are healing up nicely. Um, you can see it. <clears throat> um, a little bit. Uh, there's a chunk out of his dorsal and a chunk down here as well, still growing back, but otherwise he's doing well. He's about a foot long, maybe a little more. And uh, I'm really digging him so far. Um, he did come down with Ick with, after a few days of having him, um, but with the help of Conway and, and the awesome meds you can get through aquatic support systems, we got that cured up right away. And uh, so yeah, this is the tank that my latest pair was most recently in. I've moved them downstairs, I'll show you them later. Um, but uh, so right now I've got them in here with uh, my clown loaches and um, the Umbi uh, grow out dithers that I had in here for the Islatus before. I'll be uh, getting those out of here at some point. There's a couple that are growing out to be pretty nice, especially this guy here. This guy's got a ton of attitude. Kind of runs the tank as far as the Umbies go, but he doesn't do anything to the Giardini. But yeah, the Giardini's looking decent. Um, looking forward to hopefully keeping this guy for a lot of years to come. and getting him a bigger tank at some point uh, so they can grow out uh, nicely. But for right now, he's gonna do just fine here. Um, we'll go ahead and show you the 90 gallon Uwagumi Aqu Aquascape. Um, it's doing decent. Um, you know, some wins, some losses with this tank. Um, the carpeting is growing along nicely, but I do have uh, um, some algae growing. Um, you can see on the rocks. It kind of looks cool though, so I'm deciding, you know, I may just kind of let it continue to do its thing. Uh, but there are some algae patches in, in the Monte Carlo as well, but um, the Monte Carlo kind of went through one nice growth spurt, um, and then it kind of seems like it's slowed down now, so I'm not sure um, what the difference is other than I was dosing the EI and then once I started stocking this with shrimp, I cut out the EI because it's not good to have fruits like that um, with shrimp from what I've read and stuff. And I don't want to risk it when I'm spending money to throw a bunch of shrimp in this tank. But, you know, I've had some shrimp deaths here and there, but for the most part, they're doing good. I've got a bunch of Amanos in here. Um, a couple of them to show you right here. And, oh, actually there's a bunch of them congregated on this rock here. And then I've got kind of a mixture of uh, different crystals, blacks and reds, um, some Michelings in here as well, which you can't really tell the difference. Uh, they're just going to look like crystal blacks or crystal reds. But uh, yeah, they're doing good for the most part. I'll take you out here and show you what's going on with the discus. A little bit of a change. The wild discus are all gone. And I've got, at this point, four new domestics. Recently picked up three blue diamonds and one brilliant blue. Um, the brilliant blue and one of the blue diamonds are a good five and a half, six inches, and the other two blue diamonds are a little bit smaller. Um, bought these from a local guy that came in from Kenny's Discus uh, about a year ago, a little less, nine months ago, something like that. And he's done a good job at uh, growing them out. They look beautiful. The two smaller ones, I don't think I'll keep for long term, but it was kind of a package deal. I got a great deal on it, so I picked them all up. But um, the plan is, um, I've got a couple uh, potential um, local guys that uh, have some discus they're looking to get rid of that I may um, 
pick some more up. Um, but I'm also going to be making an order from Kenny's Discus here uh, when the April um, April shipment comes in. But I'm really happy with these guys. Um, they're looking good. No problems. Uh, the last of my wild discus I sold here just a couple days ago. So they went to a good home. But yeah. That's what's going on with the discus tank now. Hopefully within the next few months uh, I'll slowly stock this up. You know, this is a 150 so probably have at least 10 in here um, when it's all said and done. Several different colors, get some reds, some yellows, whites, things like that in here. So it should be fun. Getting back into domestics, I, I missed it. I like those wilds, but uh, you just can't uh, you just can't beat the, the, the vibrant colors of domestic discus. So that's what's going on there. We'll take you downstairs now. And uh, show you what's going on. Got my buddy right here, male Midas, still doing great. Fish is just awesome. Such a fun personality. Really likes to interact with you, or or try to kill you. One of the two. I'm not sure, but <laughs> you know how it is. Any of you guys that have kept uh, big uh, cichlids in the past, they're fun, real fun. So, I gotta come up with a name for this guy still. I don't have a name for him, but he's definitely one of those fish. I don't name all my fish, but he's one of those fish you definitely gotta come up with a good name for, so. We'll, uh, we'll keep thinking on that. Colors are just awesome. Love this guy. Uh, up above, uh, we've got the heterospilus, six of them here. They're doing well. Uh, no breeding action yet or anything, um, but uh, yeah, not a ton to say about these guys, except uh, they're all doing well and they seem to get along great together. They they uh, kind of swim as a community a lot of times, which is fun to watch. I may try to get them back into a six foot tank at some point, but for now this is, uh, this is where they're going to be. Uh, right behind me here, I've got uh, a bunch of Humby growouts and my uh, the last of my Spectabilis growouts, both of which I'm gonna be looking to get rid of here. Uh, these Humby growouts right here are actually from War Paint. You guys might remember War Paint was one of those Humbies that I had. Um, looked really awesome. I ended up giving them back to Mike. And then uh, Mike got, uh, I'm not sure if this is the one and only spawn that he got from, from Warpaint when he paired him up with a female, but uh, at any rate, he gave these uh, to me recently. And uh, I was thinking about uh, trying to grow, grow, uh, grow something out, but um, I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. I uh, just don't have the room and stuff. When I've already got uh, a nice uh, umby pair, so... Down below here um, is a female Moda RTM. She likes to hide right there, but she's a good six inches. Um, and I'm just kind of waiting to try to uh, work on some pairing with uh, with the different Modas that I've got. So um, she's alone in that tank for now, um, just to basically make sure that. Um, we don't have any fighting and injuries and stuff like that. Um, some of the other modas I've got, here's a nice female I've got up here. She's really looking nice. Probably my favorite one. And then uh, there's another male over here. Um, he likes to hide behind this pot. It's hard to get a good shot of him usually. But um, maybe I'll come back and see if we can't do that. I'll do a shrimp date separate trip, shrimp date, shrimp update separately. Um, down here I've got my bigger male Moda. He's hiding right now. But you can kind of see him under that driftwood. Um, see if we can't lure him out with a little bit of food, maybe. Just threw in a piece. Let's see what 
happens. Grab some more here. Go ahead and give them a little Southern Delight power feed. There's some Umbi Grots in there too. Like a ton of my tanks, they'll probably devour all the food before he decides to come out there, but maybe not. Here it comes. He's a good looker. He's probably seven inches. Had him for a while now. Um, me. I've tried to pair him up with that bigger female I showed you first, and they just fight and fight and fight because they're too close to the same size. So I'm thinking about trying to pair this one up with that smaller female above that I showed you a minute ago. She's about half his size, but from what I hear, uh, you know, from some people that uh, really know their thing with RTMs. Um, that might be a perfect match actually, so we'll see. But yeah, this guy, he's he's really nice. I got him last summer. I haven't really shown him a lot on video because he's usually hiding. I usually mention him at least though, but you may remember. He's been in a few different tanks. So So yeah. That's what's going on there. Um, show you some umbies here. This is Thorson. He's still living out the single life up here since Maggie died. It's been a couple months now, I guess, since she's been gone. But uh, I'm probably, well, I shouldn't say probably. Um, within the next few weeks or month, I'm going to definitely actively look to um, move this guy on. I really like him, but um, I've got another Umbi pair below that I'll show you in a minute. And I just don't need either a single Umbi or finding a female for him and getting another pair. This guy's a good 12 inches. Really nice. Really enjoyed having him, but it's one of those things where I just need more room for what I for some other stuff I want to do. And I really don't need more than one on the pair. So, we will uh, probably, I don't know when exactly, but at some point soon I'll work on uh, moving him on to someone who can give him a good home. But he's still enjoyable, I really enjoy him. If I had more space and more tanks, I'd keep him for sure. But and that's just kind of the way it goes. Really nice streamers on the back. So that's him. Down below, these are the ones I'm going to be holding on to. Palin and Kama. They're getting ready to spawn. I think they've been doing a lot of lip locking lately. They really enjoy this 180 that they're in now. Um, his tail is slowly growing back. You may remember that it was split. It's been a few months, but it's slowly growing back, making more and more progress. He's got a lot of awesome freckles here. This is an F1, um, real Magdalena Umbi. From, uh, came from Magnus and Beast, Mike Mann's pair. And this is a wild caught female that I got from Raps. Both are really nice. Moving on over here, the reddest latest. We've uh, I've moved them down here to make room for that Giardini upstairs. If you saw a recent video I put out, uh, I just had a, a video where it was just set to music with this pair and their fry. They had a successful spawn, and um, 
here's some fry right now. Uh, eating some Southern Delight gel food that I made up. Um, I pulled about half the fry at first, and they were still doing fine. So I wanted to leave some in there for them. And then I did a water change on my normal regimen. I had skipped two water changes with these guys. One because the first week they had eggs and I didn't want to disturb them. Second week they had free swimmers and I didn't want to disturb them. So then finally um, I decided it was ch t ch time to do a water change because I had missed two weeks. And he started going ape on her so as you can see she's back here now hiding. Does a lot of hiding there and a lot of hiding in her pot over here. But uh, at that point I decided it would be best to pull the rest of the fry. Because I do want to grow out these guys. A lot of people are always asking me about uh, if I want to sell this pair, if I have any fry to sell. So, um, so that's why I want to grow them out, obviously. Yesterday it looked like they were about to... Uh, getting close to spawning again. They had both colored up nicely, darkened up. Her tube was partially down. They seemed to be getting along good. But now today he's kind of got her scared and back behind the pot and it looks like um, she's actually got a little bit of collateral damage on her too. But um, that's nothing new with this pair so we'll just continue to see what happens and maybe they'll spawn again. Maybe they won't but in the meantime, this male sure is fun to have. He's a great looking fish, man. All right, down below here, we've got uh, the lion's eye and some mixed, a uh, couple of umbies in here as dithers. These two on this side appear to be female. This is my newer one that I got a couple of months ago here. Um, potential male. But I'm starting to wonder if it's not a female too. It's, uh, I'm noticing some black coming in on the dorsal. So we'll see. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hold on to these lion's eye long term. You know, these ones I've, I've grown out. Well, yeah. I grew out one of these along with another group from, from real small. And then one of these was given to me by one of my local buddies. Or sold to me, I can't remember which. And then this recently I got from Mike. Um, I'm not sure. I may continue to try to do something with these guys. I may move them on. Um, you know, not going to make any quick decisions on that. Let's see what happens. Uh, Flowerhorn, he's doing great. I also got to come up with a name for this guy. He's definitely a fish that you gotta have a name for. Sorry about that light glare in the background, but he's doing good. He likes to uh, play with my hand when I put it up here. This is a uh, red magma. Got some real nice color on him. Um, again, some more uh, LBs in here, just kind of as dithers, give them something to chase around. Probably end up getting getting these guys out of here soon. I got an LB problem and I need to fix that. It's got a lot of them. But for the time being, they're doing no harm in the tanks that they're in, because they're always a lot smaller than the fish that are in those tanks. So. Um, as I told you before, um, this latest fry that I was able to pull are in here. Still got this uh, Trimac right here. It's about three inches and uh, looking to get rid of him. Um, another Moda that's kind of just on standby if I need him. And then this tank's empty. I sold off all the Midas uh, growouts I had in there. Sequoia are down here, Sequoia, however you want to pronounce it. Um, haven't quite decided, but I think I'm going to probably move move these guys on because I've got some plans that I want to do for this bottom 75 and this one here. 
uh, we'll see if that comes to fruition, but, um, there's glass here, sorry about that. No spawning or anything going on here, but you can definitely see that some of them have what appears to be like breeding dress going on. So, I don't know. They used to all be one color, and now some of them definitely have darker striping and, and blacks in them and stuff than others. Honestly, I haven't done a ton of research on these guys since I got them. Um, you know, they're basically a convict, so, um, yeah, see what happens. <coughs> so, that is, uh, that is everything for right now. Ooh, this male is actually out up here. I'm not going to move too close, I'll just try to zoom in. So other male moda, and the female, she's still out. Really has nice reds on her. Ooh, look at that. So hopefully between, either between this male and this female, or else the, the bigger male and this female will be able to pair some up of, um, in the near future. I'm not in a rush to do it, but at the same time, I'm kind of excited to see what we can't do there. Still out a little down here too. Like I say, I'll get a shrimp update out, but here's the newest shrimp rack. Um, there's that female Moda too. It's finally time that all the Modas are out. It's good. They do a lot of hiding. So anyway, we'll end with uh, with this guy over here. You know, as always, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate everybody that subscribes and watches these videos and comments and interacts with me. Um, this is your first time watching one of my videos. Uh, make sure you go over and subscribe for more updates. And uh, make sure that uh, you go check out the members of Team Aquatic Support and their YouTube channels. They're all listed below. And make sure you go out onto Facebook and check out the Aquatic Support Community. It's a really great group for fish keepers of all kinds. Uh, check out Fish Keepers Classifies for a good place to buy and sell fish and equipment. And check out the Aquatic Support Community uh, page. Give that a like also. Uh, so until next time guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon.